from home repairs are indeed intimidating. Very intimidating. For sure. The do-it-yourself type stuff. Oh, you're on YouTube trying to figure it out, trying to find out how you can do it affordably. Well, Fox 4's Steve Noviello is concentrating instead on fixes that are both easy and inexpensive. Right, Steve? Good morning to you. In fact, each one will cost you less than 25 bucks, and they come courtesy of home improvement expert Andrea Rideout, who literally wrote the book on fixing things around the house. It's called If I Had a Hammer, More Than 100 Easy Fixes and Weekend Projects. She also owns Gecko Hardware in Dallas. These are some common problems and some really easy fixes, right? They sure are, Steve. And one of my favorites is fixing a water hose. How many times have you accidentally run over the hose with the mower? <laughs> or just, you know, older hoses, they spring a leak sometimes. Well, and then you got to throw the whole thing away. you got to throw the whole thing away. So this is a super simple repair. Just cut the two ends where the, you know, cut out the nasty part that's okay. broken. And then there's all different sizes of crimpers, fixers, different things that'll go in between. And look how easy this is. You basically just put the two parts together and then you're going to crimp those tight and that's going to last you for years. And that's watertight. Absolutely watertight. And of course, again, it comes in different sizes. There's all different styles for different types of How much hoses. is that going to cost me? Oh, under five, seven dollars. They're all Not, really a, inexpensive. As opposed to a new hose, which is going to cost me a lot more. Uh, Twenty-five dollars. Yeah, right. definitely. Next up. Uh, let's okay. talk about adding a peephole in the front door. Yeah, so like for single people who want to have an ability to see who's at their front door. Yep. Somebody comes knocking. Well, this is again, super simple. Two piece unit. It's going to give you a door viewer on the outside. You're going to be able to look through and see, is this the UPS guy or is it somebody <laughs> that you don't want to open the door for? And again, you just basically drill your hole through the door. You're going to put this two piece unit in, screw it together until it's tight. Any trick to that? If it's a, uh, it's a solid core door or uh, not yeah. really, you want to, you know, most of the doors these days door, are right? made with a solid piece where the door viewer goes. Okay. So again, about normal height, five feet up or so, five to six feet. It's going to be just perfect. Perfect. All right. All right. Let's talk about the kitchen sink. Uh, this is one of my favorites. So a lot of times you'll have a hole next to your faucet and maybe there's a plug in there that's real easy to pop out. What do you do with that hole? Well, uh, one of my very favorite things is to have a soap dispenser. So look how simple this is. Again, it's a two piece unit that just screws together like that. So get one of your kids under the sink holding <laughs> the, the bottle. Hands, right? <laughs> that's right. And then you're on top and you screw this on. And then you've got a soap dispenser. It's nice and clean and you don't have that nasty bottle of soap sitting next to the sink all the time. You can also get units that are available that are uh, water purifiers, mm -hmm. same kind of thing, and even a hot water and dispenser. That, that unit that's there, what's that? The air return that, that's usually, um, what's no, the whole for? No, it's different si types of faucets. So maybe old style faucets would have had two or three different handles. Gotcha. But a lot of units these days because are a, a single, single handle. Exactly. Okay. So that's another easy one. And one of my favorite tips that we uh, always have to say, of course, is put in a low flow shower head. Like the EPA says, use water wisely. It's going to be the thing that we're going to be fighting over here in just a few years. All right, real quick so. in the time we have remaining, let's talk about preventing erosion. Exactly. So two easy ways of doing it. One is to have these gutter uh, downspout guards. And so you just put this right at the bottom of your downspout. Again, it's going to keep your uh, yard from washing away. Here's a long version right here that will extend it out somewhere else in your yard. So maybe you want to direct that water to water a tree or something like that. And that and then, really keeps moisture away from the house as well, right away from the foundation. Absolutely. And another favorite, this is called a rain chain. So if you have a gutter in a spot where you don't have a good place for that gutter to come down, maybe on a patio or whatever, put a rain chain like this. You can make it end and maybe a, a pile of river rocks. And that helps, again, guard against erosion. Excellent. Quick, easy, and there's uh, more than 90 additional fixes you can find in Andrea's book, If I Had a Hammer. And, of course, a link to Gecko Hardware right now, myfoxdfw.com. She really has a knack for that. Steve, thank you so you got much. It.